Hello my YouTube friends, it's Dan Green again and it's been a few weeks since I made a video. We had some holidays and just a lot of stuff going on but I'm glad to have a moment tonight uh, to make another video and the one I wanted to make tonight is about concealed carry belts. Uh, I have been concealed carrying 30 years, something like that. Uh, I first started concealed carrying when I was in the U.S. Air Force. I always had a job in the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, and we uh, concealed carried uh, Beretta 92Fs, which are, if you're not familiar with that handgun, it's a full-size, uh, duty service size, uh, 9mm pistol that is all metal and is extremely heavy and, and uh, full-size. And... We were supposed to wear suits most of the time. And so while I was concealed carrying it, and wasn't inside the waistband carrying it for the most part, for the most part I was wearing it on, on a belt, you know, slide belt holster uh, with dress pants and a dress belt. And it didn't work all that well most of the time. I wish way back then I'd had somebody uh, share with me some of the things I'll be sharing with you today. We we weren't really given any instruction, or at least I wasn't, about you know what would be an effective belt and the difficulties of carrying a gun that weighed uh, as much as that one did uh, on a suit pants. Um, so initially, I just had regular dress belts, and you just try to cinch them down as tight as you could. Uh, of course, with the being younger and with the military weight regulations, I was thinner then, and uh, so at least I didn't have a belly that was making my pants slide down or anything like that. But it was, still was not a, a great thing. You know, wearing a one inch, maybe one and a quarter inch belt, because you had to have one that would fit through the belt loops on the dress pants, and sometimes the, the wider ones would not fit. They were always pulling your pants down over your hip and you're always having to reach down and try to tighten it up and it just was uncomfortable and just didn't work all that well. Uh, then when I left the military, I got a, a job with a federal agency and again, I was carrying concealed and initially I did wear suits still or a sports jacket and, and dress pants at least and had the same issue. Nothing had changed except that I had been issued a Glock 19 which was substantially lighter than the Beretta, which, so at least that part was better. Um, but of course, we're not just carrying the gun in those jobs. I was carrying the gun and, and handcuffs and a couple of extra magazines. And so you, you know, it would dress pants and a dress belt. It just was awful. But over time, just through word of mouth and through my own experimentation and, and also, I, I began to realize that dress belts, normal dress belts just did not work well. And I started looking for belts that were at least wider and something like this, this a uh, little bit wider belt, but still this is an, and it's all leather, but it's just extremely flimsy and, and just, it was better than what I had been using, but still not very good. Um, and then I went to something like this, which is a little bit, a little bit more sturdy than, than this belt. I, but again, this is not a purpose-made belt. This is really like a work belt from, you know, like a department store, like a Walmart or something where they sell their work clothes. I, I would wear it with, you know, black dress pants. But this, if it, and I've started to make sure that when I bought my pants, that I could get the belt through the loops because some of them had pretty narrow belt loops but uh, this was much this was a step up and then occasionally I could find something like this that is extremely thick and again not a purpose built belt for carrying a gun but a a very I, mean, I don't know if you can see this so this is a very thick belt and this one worked pretty well this actually did work very well uh, o over time, my job allowed me to start wearing some clothes that were, I didn't wear suits as much. Still had to conceal carry, but I could wear a shirt on the outside of my pants that would, that would cover it. And I started wearing inside the waistband. 
And when you wear inside the waistband, you don't need as, as substantial a belt generally because the, the pants help hold everything in place as well. And I, I would get sometimes these web belts, and this is flimsy. These, these are not as good as the leather belts as far as you know providing support. But you pick up one of these. This one is a 511. I've got another one that's a cheaper brand that's called Proper, but it's actually just as well made, I think, as this 511 is. Uh, some of them are nicer. Some of them have different buckles. They have different features. These are some of the less expensive kinds of that type. Uh, but what I discovered over time was that a purpose-built belt made to carry a handgun just worked better. And several years ago, I bought this one, and I worn it so long the name was on the inside, but it is worn off, and I honestly can't remember who made this belt. I liked it so much, though, and I remember when I ordered it, you could order a variety of colors. You could even pick out which stitching you had. Um, honestly, none of that was very important to me because at that time I was wearing my belts where you wouldn't see them. Uh, not like when I've been wearing with a suit very often where you still would see the belt. So you wanted something that at least passed for a dress belt. And, and, and you know, you wanted colors that didn't make you stick out like you didn't know what you were doing. Um, but at, at the time I bought this, I was wearing shirts that would uh, allow me to wear an inside the waist band holster and and just pull the shirt out over it. And this belt worked very well. Wish I could remember where I bought it, but I could not when I went to buy another belt. But that's when I discovered Hank's belts. And Hank's belts, American made leather belts. They have many different ones. This one is called the Gunner, which is I think one of their um, entry level or less expensive belts, but you can see it's still, it's very sturdy. It's a, a thick leather, um, excellent, excellent belt made in the United States. Just, just an excellent belt. Better than the, this is a good belt and this one's older. So that maybe it's not fair to compare, but this is a sturdier, heavier duty belt than this one is. Um, but this is, this is many years old. I'm not sure how many years I've had this belt a long time. Uh, but still, Hank's belt, excellent, excellent belt. But then I bought this belt. And this is a core, this particular belt is a core essential, core K-O-R-E, core essentials. There's a couple of companies that make belts similar to this. And this is by far now my favorite favorite belt. I bought two of them. I bought a black one and a gray one, but they have a variety of colors. They have many, many different belt buckles you can choose from. This is a web looking belt. They, they have an insert inside them to, to make them, I'm not sure what the insert's made out of, but to, to make it stiff. It's a very stiff, stiff belt. Um, and you could argue that you don't need a belt this stiff for an inside the waistband uh, carry and you'd probably be right, but I still really like it. I also like the kind of buckle it has. Um, there's a track on the inside of this belt, and when you buckle it, you can probably hear it snapping, but the buckle catches on that track, and it allows a much um, finer adjustment of how, you know, of, of where the belt is, instead of being, you know, an inch or whatever apart that these are. This I think these are about quarter inch adjustments and something like that. And I really like that. And I just love these belts. I bought these, I bought both of these to compare. And the Hanks belt is a fantastic, good quality belt. It is not as stiff and as sturdy. It just is not as comfortable for me to wear for a long time with a, with a, a gun and a holster as this, this is just, uh, I've come to really like this. The advantage to this, of course, is um, in the looks. For one thing, this is, if you like a leather belt, this looks, this, this is a leather belt. Core Essentials makes belts that, that have leather on the outside instead of the webbing. 
Um, I think they're a little more expensive. I can't honestly recall. You'd have to go to the Core Essentials website. They have a lot, they even have some that are more sturdy than this one. But the, the ones that are with leather are not as stiff as these. That, and and uh, I guess they feel like if, you know, if you're wearing the leather, you may not need it as stiff and you probably don't. Like I said, you know, you know inside the waistband, you don't need as stiff a belt. But um, now when I conceal carry, you generally can't see my belt. So I don't even know why I bought a black one and a gray one, to be honest with you. I just liked them. Um, because color-wise, it really doesn't make any difference to me what color my belt is if I'm carrying concealed right now, uh, the way I currently carry. Uh, so, what do I recommend? If you want to buy American, if you like the traditional leather, you cannot go wrong with Hank's belts. They have many different ones on their website. They have a variety of colors, a variety of styles, a variety of buckles. This is their base entry level belt and it is fantastic. Unless you just want something else for style reasons, there's really, I don't see any reason to get a more expensive belt from Hanks than this one. This is a great belt. If the Core Essentials belt, not made in the US, okay? Sold to you from the US but they're not made in the U.S. Um, that's important to me. I would much prefer a made in the U.S. belt, but I was honestly, I just like this belt so much that I use it all the time now. It's my main, it's the main belt I wear. Um, and, and I will continue. I, I can't imagine needing another belt from them for a long time. <laughs> as sturdy and as, as well made as these belts seem to be. Another thing about these belts is you don't buy them to size. They come one length and then the, and the buckle is not attached and you, you cut what you, you know, the excess off. You put it around your waist and measure what you need and then you cut it off from, from the buckle end and then install the buckle. And uh, so you don't have to worry about, am I buying the right size? You know, sometimes you order a belt and it's too small or too large or whatever. I think a lot of people make the mistake when they're buying belts and they buy, they buy them too small because they buy them their pant size and you need it larger. But you don't have to worry about that with the core essentials. You just buy the belt and they send it to you and it's, you need some pretty heavy duty scissors to cut it, but you can cut these and, and it takes a couple of minutes, you know, and then you have the belt fitting you know the way you want it and if I lose weight in the future which I'm actually trying to do now uh, and the belt I don't need as large a belt I can just take the belt buckle off and cut it again of course you cut it down and you gain weight you have to buy another belt but if you do lose weight you can you can make the belt smaller where it's not so easy to do with the belt. I mean I guess you can drill more holes but whatever I buy a new belt uh, so my recommendation get a if you're going to conceal carry which i'm assuming you are if you're watching this video or i'm or probably already are concealed carrying get a good belt i recommend buying a belt made for concealed carry you may pay a little extra for them these belts were not that expensive well depends on what you call expensive um they're not walmart cheap i think i paid about 50 or 60 dollars somewhere in there maybe a little bit more for both the Hanks belt and the Core Essentials belt. They're very comparable in price. You can pay more if you want to uh, for either one of these. Um, and, and some of what affects it is what buckle you buy with the Core Essentials, because you can buy them, you can buy just the belt and then pick out a different buckle. They have all kinds of stylish buckles. You can have about anything you want, just a lot of different things. Um, You like leather, you like American made, uh, you're okay with it not being quite as sturdy and you're okay with it not having quite as fine an adjustment on you know, how, how the belt fits. Hank's belts are fantastic. I will probably have this belt for many, many, many years. Um, and you know, 
if I was wearing clothes where the belt is seen, I think I would prefer this belt. And I'm not trying to look like some tactical Johnny running around with you know, a web belt on, wearing my blue jeans and a t-shirt around. But uh, I mean, if you, some people like that look, that's fine, whatever you like. Um, but that's, those are my recommendations. Get a good belt, get a sturdy belt, buy a gun belt. Hank's belt's fantastic for weather. Core Essentials, fantastic if, you, if, you, if you're not concerned that it's not made in the U.S. And if you want a leather look one, they have leather on the outside belts as well, um, if, if that's important to you. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, don't keep wearing these flimsy pieces of junk. Uh, you know, if, if you can't do anything else, at least go get something like a a sturdier work belt, although the difference in this and this is still pretty substantial. And it, it, I mean, just the pretty substantial difference in the quality. Yeah, this was cost more too, but I mean, the quality difference is just great. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, like and subscribe, be safe. These are turbulent, difficult, difficult times. Let's uh, keep our heads on, make good decisions, uh, protect yourselves, protect your families, and um, say your prayers. Take care.